Welcome back to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a real tape start and stop effect inside of Pro Tools. You can also use this effect to enhance the sound of a drop. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss a session. Without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, let's begin with the tape stop effect first. Here we have a beat that I made and I'm going to play the end of it for you. Now, I want to add the tape stop effect to the second half of the last bar. So I'm going to be selecting the second half here. You can use either grid mode or slip mode, your choice. Me personally, I like to use grid. So I'm going to make my selection and I'm going to go to the menus where it says audio suite. I'm going to click on audio suite, go to pitch shift, and I'm going to select verify. Now inside verify, we have a few options. We can either slow it down or speed it up. We can have it fit to the clip or extend the clip, or we can have it fade on or off. Now let's go ahead and leave the settings as they are and let's preview this before we add it to the clip. We do that by going down to the bottom left hand corner and you're gonna see a little speaker icon. This is your preview button. So let's go ahead and preview this. And all it does is basically loop your preview. So let's go ahead and change the selection to extend. Let's see what that sounds like. And let's change it to off, see what this sounds like. It's a little bit too drastic on the end, so we're going to leave the fade on. And next, we're going to hit render on the bottom right hand corner. So as you can see, it extended the clip to accommodate for the slowdown. And let's go ahead and play this back. Pretty cool, right? Keep in mind that the longer your selection is, the longer it's going to take for it to slow down. So let's go ahead and go to the beginning to add the tape start effect. So same concept, we're going to make a selection here. But instead, we're going to go to speed up and let's leave it at fit to and leave the fade on. Let's preview this. All right, let's change it to extend. A little bit more interesting. So we're going to go ahead and render this and let's play it from the beginning. All right, so this is how you do a tape start and stop effect. Next, let's move on to how you can use this effect to enhance the sound of a drop. So I'm going to go to a part of the song here where the beat kind of breaks down. And let's see here. No, nope, not quite the spot. All right, let's go here. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're going to use this section here. All right, so inside grid mode, we're going to end up selecting this part here and we can either use delete to completely delete it or we can use command E to separate it from the rest of the clips and use command M to mute it. So let's go ahead and listen to what this sounds like. Okay, we got a pretty good spot. So next we're gonna use Verify to enhance this just a little bit more. We're gonna go to the grid here and we're gonna go to the 16th note. And I'm gonna select this little portion here. I'm gonna go to Audio Suite, Pitch Shift, and select Verify. We're gonna slow it down, fit to, and use the fade on. Let's preview this. Okay, so we're gonna render, zoom out, and let's play from here. We could have had it closer, but you know, for the sake of this tutorial, we're not going to go into too much detail there. Actually, yeah, we will. Sorry, it's just perfectionism, I guess you could say. Audio suite, pitch shift, verify, render. All right, much better, much better. Let's play this back. All right, there we go. That was the sound that we were looking for. All right, guys. So yeah, this is how you can use a tape stop and start effect. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next session.